and the young people here tonight um, for the presentation of the award for the poetry contest. You know, um, Union County's uh, Shade Tree Advisory Board has um, been around for a long time, and I see two of our guys are here, and I'm going to ask them to come up in a minute. But um, not a lot of people know about us. And so we started the poetry contest as a way for you to get to know about us and for us to get to know about you guys. And it just, um, it just makes me feel so good that so many young people participate in this contest um, and that they're such fabulous writers. It's just so impressive that everyone here, everyone who's being honored tonight, has uh, written so beautifully. And uh, it's, it's such a great pleasure for us to be able to give you a, a resolution. But more than that, guys, um, the first place winners have a check for $50. Oh. And second and third have a check for $25. And this is made possible through the Shade Tree Advisory Board. Let me just offer my congratulations to all the winners and everybody who participated uh, in the poetry contest. So, and we really appreciate you coming out tonight. Um, we're going to continue with the regular business portion of the meeting. You're welcome to stay. But my advice to you is, <laughs> is to head home. <laughs> but don't make, don't make me think I'm throwing you out, please. See, John Burry, Kenilworth, uh, those three things. Uh, first, I like the format. I think it's, uh, you put some thought into this, and I think it's working out if the questions get answered. And my Swartz question was kind of answered, though I'd like to see what they, sp like to know what they have that other people don't. Seems like a fairly simple matter from what was described. 90,000 seems excessive. But, you know, that was the first thing. Other thing is, it kind of bothers me when these kids come get their diplomas, whatever, and then they leave. I mean, it's not necessarily you guys specifically. You're not the worst offenders, but uh, you're, you're in effect a government in general, especially New Jersey, is just ripping these kids off, and they're going to they're gonna have monstrous debts, and there they go walking out. You know, these kids don't know any these, – well, these kids and the mayor of Fanwood just walk, blithely walk out and don't pay attention to this. I think it's a, it's a terrible – lesson and we're not teaching civics enough and I it, it really bothers me I mean it's that, that's this is the interesting part of the meeting giving them a plaque is you know nothing giving them debts of trillions of dollars is, is something uh, third part uh, nine million dollars for Galloping Hill Golf Club uh, it seems like the Kemper people are just playing you guys I mean they get the pro shop money they get 70,000 probably more if you don't get the people off your county payroll to make it worth anything, which is the only reason you'd bring them in, they're getting 6.5% of everything over 3.4 million. But if you're pumping the money in, you're getting them over there, and you're kind of making money for Kemper, who are probably back there. Uh, it seems like a bad deal. Nine million, if you're not going to make a wedding banquet thing, which is probably done, uh, just to get a, well, I don't know, bar, whatever it's going to be. I mean. Well, that, that might be my only question. What is $9 million going to buy? Are you going to tear the thing down and put in something else? Is wedding banquets going ahead? Just open-ended. What, what, after the $9 million is spent, what's going to be at Galloping Hill? Thank you. Thank you. To freeholder comments. And I'll start with freeholder Kowalski. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I don't – there's been a lot of very uh, misinformed comment from, uh, from some – people tonight, but I just want, I want to respond to one thing. Um, the speaker from Kenilworth said that uh, bringing children in and to give them a plaque is nothing. And, you know, on behalf of not just of the freeholders, I'm sure that the parents who came in here with their children tonight do not think that having their children participate in, uh, in a Shade Tree Commission activity, writing a poem, reading it in public, I have to give Freeholder Scanlon and the Shade Tree Commission credit for organizing all of this. Thank you very much, and uh, I am just uh, I'm insulted that uh, that they were that they were spoken of in that light. So uh, I, I hope that we're going to be continuing this, and uh, and it's 
it reflects the quality of the citizens of Union County when we have children who come in and participate in this way. So that's all I have to say on that. Um, Earth Day is today. And um, 